into the future with that shit. It was quite amazing. Mm. And lo and behold, that actually happened, man. What so I actually think, think that... Think about this, though. So Nick Asbury, Theory's former sparring partner, he said that uh, a fighter that AJ is really cool with, like, I think, I think he's one of AJ's fighters. Uh, he was in that training camp where he found the gloves. And he said right then and there, the guy in sparring called AJ and told AJ about the whole glove thing. And AJ, AJ recently on his Snapchat, I wouldn't say recently, about a couple months ago, two months ago, he posted his, uh, yeah. he posted his old clip of a, a video of a, a boxing historian talking about the way people cheat by glove yeah. covering. And then he says, even if he cheats, I must still knock him down. That's what AJ says. Do you think that AJ honestly knows that Theory cheated? I think that you could be right there, but he could be writing the same narrative just to build up the fight. I'm not sure. It could be, but he's not really talking about it like that because he could if he really wanted to. It's kind of something. Like, here's what: Do you think? Do you think AJ's natural? Do you think AJ juices? No. It's, really? I don't think he juices because he's Nigerian. And there's all and, these rumors, though, man, in the UK that he got a therapeutic exemption because when he was a bodybuilder in jail, he got on the juice, and he fucked up his fucking natural testosterone levels, and he gets a TUE to have normal testosterone levels again because he was just a, a street guy that wanted to get big and buff and he fucked his natural testosterone up. I've never heard that. Dillian White, Dillian, Dillian White called him out on an interview and then they took the interview down. They deleted it from YouTube. Hey, you know what? I did, yeah. I did hear that before. That you, that yeah, you man. just said. I heard that... Um, yeah. Dillian White was barking at him and saying because Dillian White knows AJ from way back in the day. What I know, yeah, what he beat him. He beat him as an amateur, man. He beat him as an amateur. So for him to see AJ get yeah. that big and that strong, I feel like he did know something that we may not know. And then you know when when Dillian White came out with that, they deleted the video, and then Dillian White got no fucking fights for like a year. Eddie Hearn scolded him, I think. I think that's what went down. I think we, you should look into that more because it's hella I'm interesting. Gonna that. I'm going to look into that because I did see that. I did see that. And there's also, you know, when AJ fought Carlos Takam, right? Takam hurt AJ. He broke his nose. Yeah, he did and hurt after AJ. The, and that was very, that after was very the fight, fun right? fight, man. The ref was highly yeah. in AJ's favor. They waved the fight. Yeah, the off. ref was all all about AJ and that. But this this is true, man. There was a video, yeah, of AJ after the fight, before he went into the locker room, he got an injection in his arm, bro. He got caught on camera getting an injection on his arm, and then they deleted the last footage of like the last few seconds of the fight when they do the highlights the next day and they polish it up all nice. They deleted that bit. But there was a thread on YouTube about it saying that after the Takam fight, AJ is seen getting an injection. It's really fucking weird. Man, that's that's weird that you asked. But you know, the fact that